Hey guys, Ranger Georgia here with U.S. Fish and Wildlife from Laguna Tascosa National Wildlife Refuge in partnership with the city of Brownsville. Let's teach you how to build a tent and a nice little shade structure that'll be relax all day. All right, so the first thing you want to do when building your tent, choosing your tent site, is very important. Where you're going to be located, uh, where you want the entry of your tent facing. Here I actually chose a very beautiful, well-covered area. So that's exactly where I want to be. This is the spot. I'm going to go ahead and clear out the full ground of any debris, rocks, sticks. The last thing you want to do is set up your tent and be sleeping on a rock all night. And it's not that good for the tent either. You'll end up making ribs. This goes into a whole different bit of problems. So very first thing you want to do, make sure there's no rocks or sticks, absolutely anything that's there. Just go ahead and remove it out of the way. If you have a rake, that's great. See what I mean guys, these rocks are very uncomfortable, it's not going to feel good. And you're going to realize it right away if you leave anything. So go ahead and give it a nice good clearing. Alright, let's get building. Alright, so now that our ground's clear, we have our tent, we set it up. This tent just happens to be what we have on hand. It's Magellan Outdoors, Kids Don't Tent, Sleeps too. I'm a big boy, uh, so it's probably just gonna be good enough for me. But let's get it set up and see if we can't have a good night's rest. Now me, what I like to do is take out absolutely everything just so I can see it. It's a lot easier to see everything that you have in front of you. So here we have the tent. Now we have four stakes. This is when you're going to stake it into the ground. And then we have the poles that's going to pop up. All right, so here you have it. You have your tent, your poles, and your stakes. So go ahead and grab the poles first and let those set up. Every single tent more or less is the same. These poles are interlockable once you get them locked. It's ready to go. Once you get them locked, it's ready to go. sticks in my pocket so I don't lose them. Now we're going to set up a tent. We're going to lay it out exactly where we want it. Alright guys, so now that we have our tent cleared out, our tent set up, we have our poles completely assembled, what I'm going to do is lay it out just so you can get the understanding of what's going on. Once you have both poles here, now these do have quite a bit of bend. They're going to prop itself up with all the bend that it has. That's what's going to give you your, your shape of your tent. So let's go ahead and get going. Now the good thing about this particular tent is they showed you exactly where you're going to put it through with those nice bright arms. So you put it through and it has the exact same hole on the other side. Now we're going to slide it all the way through, and if you notice it goes over uh, past the tent itself, and that's because we're going to give it that bend. I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to put both sides in first. So now that we're both, both are in, the area that you're going to put your stakes in also has a key. And that key goes right into the hole of your pole. There it keeps it in. We're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So now we're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. 
and you're gonna notice that it props up. So you want to be doing the pole that sits on top first. This, that'd be this one right here. So you keep applying pressure as it goes high. And as you put it in, you're gonna feed it through the rest of the way and adjust it. So it props up. There you go. Now you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now, this tent here has clamps, so go ahead and once you have it adjusted the way you want, it's crossed properly, it's even, if you're liking the way it sits, go ahead and clamp it in, give it that extra support, do the same thing on the opposite side. Now we're gonna stake it in. So the reason why I faced my tent this way, I have a beautiful shaded area here in the back. I kinda wanna wake up with the sun, so that's why I'm facing it. So we're gonna stake it into the ground. Now, if you have a mallet, that's great. If you don't, you can use your boot. If I were to stop right here, you still have this part sticking out. That's the last thing I want. What you're going to want to do is make sure it's all the way in the ground, but as of right now, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to put in the next three into every other hole. So right now is the time where if you have a mallet, you're gonna wanna drive them in completely. We don't, I'm gonna use my boot, so I'm just gonna go in and apply pressure down right on that stake and make sure it is into the ground flush at that level. There you have it, you have your tent set up. It is a hot day, I only expect it to get hotter. So I want some shade. I don't want to be in here all day. So uh, let's go to get some shade set up, shall we? Let's see what I have in my bag and see what we can't find. All right, so let's see what we got. Now, if you're always going out camping, the weather says it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be a great day. Just in case, pack for every scenario. If it's the dead of the summer, put a light jacket in there just in case at night, cold front pushes in, gets a little cold or you get some rain. Now, let's see. I should have some rain gear in here. Yep. And I did say rain gear, not reindeer. So this is a poncho and got some 550 cord. Let's see what we can't come up with to make a little bit of shade. So the first thing you wanna do is find a nice area, trees close by, that way you can make your top suspension. We can find a place. So it's not exactly the weather for rain gear, but it's perfect to make a nice little shade area. So let's go ahead and get that done. Now, if you just lay out your poncho, you can see it covers a lot of area. So the first thing we want to do is get our 550 cord, pull out however much we may need. Give it a nice little cut. And every single end has loops that you can tie through. Go ahead and give yourself a simple knot, nothing fancy. Now if you expect high winds, I do highly recommend you making a very good knot. Now what I'm doing is I'm measuring the distance in between trees because that's what we're gonna tie it to. So let's get the first one tied up and see what it's gonna look like. All right. Now you do want a decent amount of shade. You can cut 
cover. Well, you gotta make sure your measurement's right. There's quite a bit of distance to go on this side, so let's get some more 550 cords. So with your 550 cords still in a bundle, go ahead and give that knot. We don't wanna have too much slack and waste a good 550 cords. You could always use it. Any little thing you need. Now it's there, we're gonna go ahead and pull. So the goal is to loop it around this tree, so we're going to have to cut enough excess to make sure that gets done properly. So now that we have it cut to size, we're going to loop it around the tree. So if you apply a lot of tension, you're going to see exactly how your shade setup is starting to look, or at least the base of it. So, this is 550 cord. You wanna, uh, it does give quite a bit. So, let's go ahead and make a knot more or less around here. So, we're gonna make a little knot. And you're gonna leave it with some slack. Just to know where you can put a loop here. What's up? Well, you're gonna slide your excess. Be able to apply tension. There you go. Now find a good place. Right here seems great. Just to secure it. Now all I'm doing is just making sure it's gonna stay still. The bark on this tree has perfect grip. Right back over to the same loop. Just go on and secure our knot. There you have it. Now let's get the bottom gone. All right. So let's see what we uh, uh to stake it in. I actually have additional stakes just in case I don't like the ones that the tank comes with. They're a little bit more uh, sturdy, so I like to carry a couple of extra around. That's what we're going to use that and some more 550 cord. So grab your cord and you're going to cut it maybe about two and a half feet. Doesn't have to be exact, just a more or less. Now we're going to make a few knots right into that poncho to see where we're going to be putting our stakes into the ground. On the opposite sides, they have each one on every corner. Now, if your poncho doesn't, just go ahead and make them yourself, but do make them a little bit deeper, just so you don't weaken the integrity of the poncho. So the shade that we want, we're going to want it to be in an angle. That way it follows the sun and we can adjust as soon as it passes high noon and we'll just move it to the opposite side and we have shade all day. Do the exact same thing on the opposite side. There you have it, shade. All right, so it took a little while, but we have our shade, we have our tent, we have everything we need. I'm hungry. I wanna eat, so let's get a fire going so I can cook something.